Exhibit C. When I was sleeping on the train, sleeping on Mezzero Lab out in the rain, without even a single slice of pizza to my name. Too proud to beg for change, mastering the pain. When New York niggas was calling Southern rappers lame, but then Jack and I slang. I used to get dizzy spells, hear a little ring, the voice of an angel telling me my name. Telling me it's the concept video for Limits. So, just like in single variable cases, um, we can have limits for multivariable functions. So limits just the value that the function approaches as you go to a certain point. So this is how we write limits in multivariable Cal uh, not calculus yet, but uh, write it as limit as x y approaches some point x0 y0 of f of x and we'll say that approaches some value um, and we'll call it l. So uh, we could have wrote as many variables as we wanted here x y z w and they all approach x0 y0 z0 w0 but uh, we're only going to do uh, two variable limits. So, um, just like in single variable limits, uh, sometimes this will exist, sometimes it won't exist, so uh, it's up to us to determine that. And um, there are some rules for limits that'll help when calculating them. There's a the addition rule. So uh, the limit as xy approaches x0, y0, f of x, uh, plus g of x, g of xy, f of xy, and g of xy. This is going to just equal the individual limits of the two functions added together. And this is assuming that um, there is, these do exist, the individual limits. This is our assumption right off the bat. If one of these don't exist, then the whole limit won't exist. So if, then, so that's the first one. Um, the second one is uh, constants. constant rule um, to the limit as xy approaches x0, y0 of c times f of xy. That's going to be equal to the limit as, or c times the limit as xy approaches x0, y0 of f of x. So if anything doesn't depend on x and y, you can just pull it right out of the limit. Um, so then the third rule is the uh, multiplication rule. So if you have the limit as xy approaches x0, y0 of f of x, y times g of xy, and this is going to equal the limit as xy approaches x0, y0 of f of x times the limit as xy approaches x0, y0 of g of xy. And the fourth rule 
is the divisional So the limit as x y approaches x zero, y zero of f of x y divided by g of x y equals the limit as x y approaches x zero y zero of f of x y divided by the limit as x, y approaches x0, y0 of g of x, y. So you know, these might seem kind of obvious, but pretty much what it's telling you is you can split these limits up, take them individually, instead of if plugging in doesn't work. So uh, more conceptual stuff um, in single variable. Um, limits. There's only two paths that we have to take. So let's say uh, we have f of x and there's x0. So to get to x0 there's only two paths. You could go from the left or you can go in from the right and we would show, uh, write this like symbolically as x approaches x0 from the left of the right and x approaches x0 from the left. So um, in our multivariable case, uh, now uh, let's say we have a point x0 or this should be the y-axis. So we have x0, y0, and as you can see there are there aren't just two paths, there are infinitely many paths you can take to get to there on this x-y plane. So uh, when checking if a limit exists, checking one or two paths will confirm its existence because you might have different values for the limit as uh, on different paths. So let's say if let's call this path C1, and we'll call this path C2. If on on C1 of x, y approaches L1 as x, y approaches x0, y0 and on C2 f of x, y approaches L2 as x, y approaches x0, y0 then the limit as x y approaches x zero y zero of f of x y does not exist. And if you want to look at that graphically, like in a single variable case, that just looked like this. So we're going to x zero from the left, and we approach, let's say, two. But coming from the right, we approach 1. So let's say along C1, we're approaching this height. So let's say that's height of 3. Um, but from C2, we're approaching some other height, uh, uh, 6. So like the surface would look something like that, maybe. I'm sorry, this picture is kind of confusing. And get rid of the other paths. So as we come in along C1, 
let's say that's the function value, and on C2, that's our function value. So, yeah, that, that limit does not exist because we have two different values. And uh, I'll talk about continuity real quick. So, we can say that f of x, y is continuous at x0, y0 if these three things are true. So if f of x, y is defined at x0, y0 2 if The limit as x, y approaches x0, y0 of f of x, y exists. And 3, if f of x0, y0 equals the limit as x, y approaches x0, y0 of f of x, y. So, as long as you check these three things, and they're all true, the function is continuous at that point. You either build or destroy where you come from. The Mac know your projects in the third wall slum, hum. It's quite amazing that you rhyme how you do and that you shine like you grew up in the shrine in Peru. Question 14, Muslim lesson 2.